Welcome back. We are now going to look at doing audio transcription with Google Voice Typing. So in order to get started, we're going to need to go to Google Docs. So if you are in the search area, what you're going to do is just write in Google Docs. Once you have it, you'll search and then you'll see a search listing right at the top. You're going to click Google Docs. You'll then enter Google Docs. You will then be in the Google Docs area. Now, the very first screen that you're going to see is going to default to the text document area. So what we're going to do is we're going to start a new document by clicking this square and you're going to open up into a word processing document. So to get started, you want to go ahead and write a title into your document. When you do that, the title will auto save. One of the things that you'll note about Google Docs is that you'll notice that there is no saving. For the most part, Google Docs will auto save every 30 seconds. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start the voice typing application. In order to do that, we're going to go to the tools menu and then we're going to click voice typing. Now, one thing you will want to note is that you can only use Google Voice Typing inside of the Chrome browser. So if you have the Chrome browser open and you haven't enabled your microphone, what you'll need to do is you'll need to open up the browser and we're going to do that now. And we're going to go to the settings. And we're going to go to the settings area here. We're going to scroll down to the advanced settings. We're going to scroll down to the privacy area and click content settings. And then we're going to click microphone in order to customize our mic. If we click the default down arrow, we'll be able to choose the mic that we want to work with Google Chrome. So we're now going to set the default. We're going to close back and we're now going to go back to our word processing document. So now that we've enabled our microphone, we're going to click this mic and then we're going to start talking. And when we talk, we'll notice that Google Docs is actually writing the information into the document as we speak. We can actually use a word like period in order to indicate period. Now, if we click the mic as we just did, that'll actually turn off the voice commands. Now, if you want a list of specific voice commands, all you'll need to do is to hover over the microphone. You'll click the question mark and then you'll see a drop down menu on the right side. You can then find all of the specific ways that you can actually use Google Docs and actually speak to the document to make it do what you want. For example, we can click edit your document. And if we turn on the mic and we say one of these commands, we can actually edit part of our document. So for example, if we look at delete last word and we turn on this mic, delete last word. And you'll notice that the last word in the document was actually deleted. So now you have learned how you can basically create documents with your mic and headset or your microphone by speaking into your default microphone, Google Docs and Google Chrome. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.